Good evening and salutations, my Days of Elias fans. Um, this episode was somewhat interesting. Um, you got Paulina that winds up going to talk to Marlena. And she pretty much, you know, she's been dealing with a lot. She's been dealing with a lot. She's had that secret and everything like that and just not being able to really tell anyone and constantly having her judgmental mother come at her every time she thinks about talking, you know, telling the truth. So, she had to tell someone. And after the slip up that she pretty much had with the twins and, and um, you know, Abe, she decides to talk to Marlena. And, you know, because Marlena is a psychiatrist and so, you know, anything that she says, she can't really sit there and repeat it. She tells her everything. Tells her everything about... And it, my question is... Is Lonnie's real father... Alive? You know? I mean, yeah, Paulina talked about... You know, um... The first or the second guy that she married that passed away. But what about her bio dad? You know, is he still alive? You know, she's been keeping this secret for so long... And... You know, now she has money and stuff like that, and she couldn't tell because of, you know, all those reasons. I'm wondering when the truth comes out, will this guy who is considered to be, well, mm, a real piece of work, um, is he actually going to sit there and come to Salem? So, yeah, she wants to tell him everything. I mean, um, she wants to tell Marlena everything. And... You know, Marlena is like, you know, she can't really talk about it, but it's a tough position to be in. She's known Abe for a very long time. You know, she's friends with him. I mean, yeah, she has a job to do. She can't really sit there and say anything, but at the same time, it's like, you know, she's sitting on that secret. And it's just like, even when she talked to Mar, you know, even when she talked to John, she was like, you know, a patient came in, said a lot of stuff. And it's just going to take me about a few minutes to really sit there and digest it all. Well, she also, in the beginning, before Marlena walked in, she was sitting there talking to John about investing in Johnny's movie. And I'm looking at that like, um... I'm not going to lie, I kind of think that's a bad idea. I mean, I'm not just saying that, you know, Marlena and John are in the poorhouse or anything like that, but, you know... Before EJ decided to act like a dick, it would have been much more better for Anna and Tony to finance this movie, as opposed to John, um, John and Marlena. And honestly, to tell you the truth, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really too confident in him as far as um, him making this movie. I mean, think about it. He tried to get investors before he had an idea about the movie he was gonna sit there and produce. Now, granted, he tried to hit a family first, but what was going to wind up happen if he just hit up, like, a random person or somebody that's not close to him? And they're like, alright, so what's the movie going to be about? Oh, I have a couple ideas. Like, really? Anyway, um, so you got Chanel, you got, um, you got Chanel and Ali, you know, celebrating, you know, that they, they made some money and stuff like that. Apparently, they made a lot of money. And they hug and everything like that. You see Trip looking at them like, so am I interrupting? And, um, you know, they talk quickly a little bit about Johnny and, you know, not being jealous and stuff like that. But Trip is like, you know what, let's just, let me take you guys, let me take your girls out. Celebrate your, you know, your, your success on your first day. So he takes them both out, sh champagne and everything like that. And, um... You know, they're having a good time or whatever. And then Johnny comes in. Now, Johnny was sent there talking to Will. And pretty much he wanted to get the script um, that Will, you know, made about the, the, you know, the life of Sammy Brady. You know. He was going to make the movie a while ago. And for whatever reason, he didn't make it. But um, he gave the script to Johnny. And I think my question is, you know... Everything goes well, gets financed and everything like that. Could he 
actually make that movie without Sammy's, you know, consent? Like, is that, is that going to be, like, an issue? I'm, I'm wondering. Um, but he gets there, and automatically, Allie acts bitchy. Because, uh, apparently, that's just her default. Um, but, you know, he, he talks to, you know, um... You know, he talks to Chanel, and, you know, he's like, you've been ghosting me, and I returned my texts or anything like that. So, he brings out some flowers, and he basically is like, you know, listen, I get it. I wasn't a great guy back in the day, but I'm a better person now. And with that being said, he sits down. Now, it's it should be noted that when he gives the flowers to Chanel, you know, Allie's like, you ain't getting anything from me. I'm like, is this chick serious? Why the hell would anyone want to get you a little bratty ass anything the way you've been sitting there acting? I, that, mmm. I think at this point, for anyone who's been watching my reviews, know how much I dislike Allie. And, um. Yeah, well, I mean, this is pretty much no different. So, you know, she's acting all bitchy, whatever. Um. Even while they're sitting down and Johnny's talking about. You know, I'm really happy about making this movie and stuff like that and just doing my passion and stuff. And, you know, he brings up the idea of um, Ali Prank, you know, playing Sammy, you know, young Sammy. Because, you know, apparently they look alike or whatever. So, Chanel's like, you know, that's a good idea. Hell, even Tripp was like, yo, that's, that would be great. I mean, hell, I'll sit there and do the movie too. And, you know... Allie's all like, you know, she's just not with it. You know, she's like, I just want to be a baker and a single mom and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, a single mom? Um, aren't you and Trip actually going out? So, what are you talking about being a single mom? I, I, don't, I don't get that. Like, did she forget that he was even there? <sighs> okay. Alright. Doug goes in for his test with um, Kayla. And after a couple of tests, you know, he winds up passing with flying colors. Um, you know, Doug is a little kind of worried because he's like, yo, listen, can you explain why I locked her in the freezer by accident? Like, you know, he's still worried. Like, all right, I may have passed those tests, but he feels like there's something still off. So, you know, Kayla's like, you know, listen, you're good, you can go home tonight, just kind of just chill out, and if anything else happens, you know, come back immediately. So, they're heading out, they run into Paulina, and, you know, Paulina's like, you know, she went to go see Marlena, and just kind of just hanging out, or whatever, just kind of catching up. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, they're at the elevator, and they're, you know, they're waiting for to come down or whatever and you know Paulina you know it's like you know you're gonna be in good health or whatever and you know she just kind of compliments Doug she compliments Doug all both face this way waiting for the elevator had to sneeze um so they're waiting for the elevator Doug is Looking at Paulina, um, a little too hard, um, especially for somebody who is married and his wife is standing right beside him. So he's looking at her. <laughs> just his, his awkward look, but Paulina's just like, and she turns around and she's just like, Doug Williams, did you just grab my ass? I was, I was, I was just say I was laughing my ass off, but I was laughing so much. I had to rewind that like four times. I, I still have it on my DVR. I plan on watching it a couple more times. But the way she just turned around and looked at him like, did you just grab my ass? I had to sit there and just pause for a minute like, did he really just... And he just do it. He just did it with a smile. So at this point, you have Julie that looks mortified. 
okay? And I'm not going to lie, for a good second, I thought that Julie was going to go off on Paulina and be like, oh, well, what are you talking about? He, he didn't do anything like that. Why would he do such a thing? But she knew that Doug has been kind of off lately. So she is mortified, and she's like, I am so sorry. You know, he's been having, like, an off week. You know, we at the hospital, like, like she's pretty much just is sorry at this point. Like, and Pauline's like, you know, listen, it's whatever, it's fine. Um, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll take it as a compliment. So she gets in the elevator, and she, she waves, and, uh, you know, she goes on the merry way. And, you know, Julie calls Kayla and tells her about the incident. And is like, yo, we need to, we need to do this MRI. We need to do something. Um, yeah. Now, the last scene, I think, is Lonnie and, um, Abe. And Abe pretty much kind of tells Lonnie, you know, that... The possibility of marriage may be around the corner, you know, because he, you know, he, he mentions the whole comment that Paulina said about the babies being like, you know, their grandmother or whatever. And she was like, the hell are you talking about? That's their aunt. <laughs> and that's when Abe was like, yeah, well, technically, if, you know, we get married, then, you know, kind of, you know, she's grandmother, you know, she's their grandmother by marriage or whatever. At first, you know, Lonnie's a bit taken back, like, you know, isn't that a little too soon? And I'm sitting there just like, you know, Lonnie, my history with you has been very rocky. Please don't say something stupid or something judgmental or something bitchy. Please just, just, just don't say any of that stuff. But, you know, she kind of looks at it and, you know... She kind of thinks about everything. And she kind of realizes that, you know, at the end of the day, Abe is lonely. He deserves somebody in his life that makes him happy, makes him smile. And, um, you know, more or less, she's like, she's, she's, she's with it, you know. If it makes Abe happy, and, you know, she likes those two together, then he should do it. So, she pretty much gives, you know, because at one point, you know, Lonnie's like, well, you know, at the end of the day, it's not really my choice, you know. Like, like I can't sit there and tell you what to do. And I was like... Exactly. But, you know, Abe was all like, oh, well, you know, your opinion means a lot to me. And I'm like, I'm going to let that go because I'm not a father, so I am not going to really comment on that. But, yeah, she gives them, you know, them their blessing. Paulina comes in, they have champagne, and that pretty much ends the scene. I think that's about it. If I missed anything, please write it down in the comment section below. Um, you know, days, days have a way of making me laugh when I least expect it on things that, I mean, if you look at the reality of it, it's not funny because Doug, there's clearly something going on with him. I think he said he was like 80 and 95 and it's kind of heartbreaking to sit there and kind of watch that situation and, and watch the situation at their end. So that, that part is heartbreaking. With that being said, that was probably the funniest thing that happened in days. This week, I think the other thing was the whole Philip and him sending the email after Bella was like, I don't think it's a good idea. And he was like, you're right, but I'm going to do it anyway. And he just sent it. That, that, <laughs> the way she turned around and was just like, Doug Williams, did you just grab my ass? I I just, I can't get over that. Um, with that being said, I think that's about it. If I missed anything, please write it down in the comment section below. I want to thank everyone for watching. Be safe. I will see you in the next video.